hello uh, again revenue numericals we'll see continue before that we seen these three numericals one is for lowest energy of electron trapped in potential well then we seen second numerical about force eigen value in rigid box then we have seen neutron in trap neutron trap in finite potential well now next numerical we'll see which is calculate the energy difference between ground state and force excited state of an electron in a rigid box of length one armstrong what is given length of rigid box is given one armstrong and we have to calculate the energy difference between the ground state and force excited state of an electron in rigid box so ground state so n start from 1 so ground state is e1 and first uh, excited state will be e2 so we will find out difference between energy eigenvalue e2 minus e1 so what are the given width of rigid box is 1 armstrong that is 10 raised to minus 10 meters then ground state energy of electron is given by e1 is equal to 1 square h square upon 8 ml square while force excited state energy of electron is given by e2 instead of n now we are going to put 2 so e2 is equal to 2 square into h square upon 8 ml square as 2 square so we can write it as 4 h square upon 8 ml square also now we have to find difference between these two energy levels so we can write the energy difference is equal to e2 minus e1 so the difference between that two equations so in both equation h square upon 8 ml square is common so we are taking 4 minus 1 into this common term h2 uh, h square upon 8 ml square so 4 minus 1 is 3 so e is equal to 3 h square 8 ml square then by putting the value of h is 6.634 into 10 is to minus 34 it is 8 as it is then mass of electron which is 9.1 into 10 is to minus 31 then width or length of rigid box is given which is 10 is to minus 10 meters so take it square and simplify this or we can say calculate it by using scientific calculator only that time we will get uh, the answer after calculation which is 1.807 into 10 raised to minus 17 june now again we will get value of energy which is in june so to convert it in electron hold we have to divide it by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 so we will get the energy difference in electron hold which is 112.80 electron hold so answer of energy difference is 112.80 electron hold now we'll see next numerical that is uh, neutron is a trap in infinite potential well of width 1 Armstrong. So, calculate the value of energy and momentum in its ground state. I am repeating again neutron is trapped in infinite potential well 
of width 1 Armstrong and we have to calculate the value of energy and momentum in ground state. So given is width of potential well is 1 Armstrong that is we can write as also Armstrong unit which is equal to 10 raised to minus 10 meter. Then mass of neutron is given 1.675 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. So we have to find value of energy E1 and momentum P. So for first eigenvalue E1 is 1 square h square upon 8 ml square. Just we will put the values a value of n is 1 then value of flying constant 6.634 into 10 raised to minus 34 then add mass here carefully again put the value of mass of neutron which is 1.675 into 10 raised to minus 27. So when you calculate it you will get a value of uh, energy at the ground state which is 3.276 into 10 raised to minus 27 joule. This value in joule convert it into Armstrong uh, convert it into electron hold by dividing 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19. So it gives value is 0 0.02 electron hold. Now we get the value of energy. Next we have to find momentum. The momentum we have seen in de Broglie's wave momentum that time we have calculated in different forms. Here we know the mass and energy of particle. So depending on uh, mass of particle and energy of particle we have the formula uh, that is under root 2 me so that momentum p is equal to p is equal to under root 2 me and now just put this value of mass of neutron and energy that we have already calculated so we'll get value of momentum which is 3.312 into 10 to minus 24 kilogram meter per second. See again when it is asked two parameters that time carefully we should find out both don't forget second parameter because uh, both parameters having equal weightage of marks. Thank you.